Are you tired of listening to German language all day long? Don't you just want to get your news and topics presented in English, even though you live in Germany? Then here's your solution. Yeah! <laughs> Elephant in the Room, an English radio show where we discuss things that people tend to ignore. Tune in on Color Radio on 99.3 and 98.4. Every second and fourth Monday of the month. Elephant in the Room, a radio show by the Black Rose Radio Collective from Dresden. Hate Mondays, be organized, stay cool. Hey people. <laughs> Hello our guests. Our guests are from Poland and today we're going to talk about feminism and yeah for that reason we have a Jitsi communication tool here and uh, yeah we're still trying to figure out how everything works through the technical things we have here. But you can say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah cool that you're here. Yeah, um, how to start? We were somehow recently listening to some um, interviews about uh, feminist movement in Eastern Europe. And then we researched a bit and um, we thought, yeah, first we wanted to make a show with different people. But then kind of it appeared there are so much things to say. So today we would like to start with you. And um, yeah, maybe you just introduce yourself for the beginning to our listeners. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I'm Kulka and... Uh, Uh, I'm uh, an activist in Poland and recently I'm living in Warsaw and uh, I am um, active in some anarchist um, projects, but I also support uh, the feminist protests and yeah, maybe my friend. I'm Zofia and I also live in Poland. Uh, and I'm uh, active in like feminist activism and also tenant movement and worker movement. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, maybe we, yeah, you already said you're kind of active in the feminist movement. So there is such thing as a feminist movement in Poland? Yeah, there is feminist movement in Poland. And uh Yeah, but I think, okay, so the question was if, if there is feminist movement. So, yeah, there is. And I I think more, more, maybe the next question will be about the uh, condition of this movement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so you can, you can directly start answering the question. <laughs> yes, the, there is a lot of things that uh, you can say about this feminist movement in Poland. So it's better if you ask what uh, basically you want to know. And uh, we were before this meeting, we were uh, talking uh, about the, that there is this feminist movement, but for example, the anarcho feminist movement, we remember that it was before, but now it's not really, we are not sure if it exists as a movement. So, um, yeah, we actually have a lot of questions. The question is where it makes sense to start. Um, we actually had a, heard an interview about the Feminist Congress in Wrocław um, in mm -hmm. February. And we actually were wondering um, what, um, yeah, who, who eventually organized this um, gathering, who attended the gathering, gathering and which topics were actually present on on this whole meeting to kind of because it sounds always good yeah there's this feminist gatherings but what what is it about like there are so many feminism also in this world so maybe you can start with this okay so i was one of the organizers of this of this congress so uh, i can answer who was uh, organizing so it was uh, uh, initiative of 8th of march from wrocław and it's uh, queer feminist collective and uh, the the idea was do was to, to gather uh, feminists and, and talk and make some reflection and also uh, organize together 
and uh, and it was it wasn't the first time when we uh, as the initiative of 8th of march organized uh, such such uh, gathering because a few years ago we organized something which was called między uh, miastówka i don't know how to translate it it's like uh, inter intercity gathering something like this and yeah and it was it was few years ago and and then uh, yeah and now it was congress and there is uh, such thing in Poland as Congress Kobiet, which is Congress of Women. And uh, our uh, initiative, our meeting was somehow the opposite gathering because the, the other one is liberal and our was uh, leftist. Back in the studio, and we are talking about feminism in Poland today. And we just heard some impressions on the Feminist Congress in Rotslav in February 2020. And now we want to dig a little bit deeper into the whole history of feminism in Poland. Okay. Okay. So this will be my questions, um, or not only my questions. Anyway, um, so what I know in, about Poland, and like to put it in really simple stereotypes, is a kind of a crazy Christian country where everybody prays to Maria and believe um, traditional family is something that should be protected from this horrible Western Europeans that are trying to destroy the Polish values or whatever you call it. Um, And, and this kind of a Christianity was there for quite some time, but also um, Poland was so-called socialist state for some time. Um, how was the question of the, you know, the, the freedoms for women back then when, well, you had the dictatorship of the Communist Party um, that was, prom uh, that was um, announcing that everybody is equal and everybody should have equal rights? Do you want to answer? It? Uh, okay, so yeah, I have many ideas to answer, but my like I we just were talking with Kolka that we have uh, la like lack of practice with uh, in talking in English, and, <laughs> but okay, <laughs> I will try. So um, yeah, you, you said that uh, it was the dictatorship of uh, of one party, and uh, this is the. Um, like an main the way of thinking uh, now in Poland by Polish people that there was uh, it was all wrong time and like it is well, hmm, only different way I'm it's very uh, ambivalent like hard question to to talk about uh, socialist times because uh, I think that inside people who used to live then. Uh, know that in many ways it was better than now, and but the they can say it loud because the like there is 
there is actually now dictatorship of uh, such censorship that it was all wrong. But if we are speaking about uh, position of women, then that in in so in very um, in many 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 ways it was better than now. Like at first, uh, the ab ab at first abortion was uh, legal, and also. Uh, Mm, available. available yeah available like in a communical economical way and also there was uh like now in neoliberalism uh the the uh, public uh services are closed so there are for example no kindergartens or less kindergartens than, than not there mm -hmm. not enough and then there were so women had like uh, it wasn't a problem so women uh, could work also and also they uh, I know were paid equally as men uh, and uh, yeah there were like really like I would say that the situation was better than now uh, according to uh, equality yeah and um, when did it actually start changing because um, solidarity was also like the socialist alternative or whatever and how did it actually transform from this point okay everybody's equal the women have um at least minimum rights in in the state to the mm -hmm. point where we are right now where like this this fucking crazy catholics um are just you know basically pushing the agenda um to the extremes but i i think like um in this uh like uh so-called Soviet times, uh, the opposition to the regime was uh, organizing themselves uh, a lot in churches and with help of the uh, some priests and so on. And it was like a kind of uh, like the church was uh, already back then influencing a lot of people. So uh, you could uh, see like this opposition that there is this bad uh, regime which w had uh, really some good points like this equal rights and uh, against it was uh, like freedom which was supported by church also. Okay, so, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't <laughs> agree because uh, so there is, uh, there is like, we still are talking about this in Poland, and for example, I have a different uh, point of view than Kulka said because actually a lot of uh, this, uh, like in, um, in a big, uh, like strongly this uh, also opposition movement in Poland wasn't uh, like somehow right wing or it wasn't uh, like not not all of it was based on uh, on church for example and not and actually uh, there wasn't this uh, idea to make mm, transformation and to end socialism and in many uh, in many mm, um, protests uh, people were demanding not like the the changes of leading party, but only some changes uh, inside uh, the same system, for example. Mm -hmm. And and there weren't uh, like uh, now uh, we 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 mainly say uh, we mainly see pictures from then uh, from protests with uh, transparency. Uh, banners. With banners saying uh, we 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 want God God or, or we want uh, religion schools uh, classes in in school and actually those pictures they don't show true because mainly there were banners saying we were more, more we want more bread or we want more I don't know food or something so actually there they, they, those protests were about uh, life conditions not about lack of religion in schools and uh yeah so so really they were protests were like left more leftist than the party and uh yeah but uh, and so well how it it it, it happened that we that we are now in this shitty position the, the shitty situation uh when we don't actually have a uh, leftist party we only have right wing and the and we say in the right tish center uh so uh 
during transformation uh, in eighty nine. Uh, for example, when we are talking about the right, the women rights, right? Uh, the mm, the 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 right uh, of abortion was somehow uh, sold uh, for uh, like. Mm, Okay, cool. Can you help me? <laughs> there was there was such an argu ar uh, uh, um, argument uh, between uh, the church and uh, the um, new party uh, Solidarność uh, with uh, Mazowiecki uh, Prime Minister. Prime Minister, yeah, Mazowiecki. Uh, so that uh, church will uh, support this party if this party will um, like change the uh, the some right. Of the law, yeah, laws. some of the laws, and for example, this 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 abortion law. So yeah, but I I wanted to say that I agree with this. I mean, I wanted to uh, <laughs> explain how uh, like church could manipulate the situation. So church really manipulated the situation and they used like the people who were protesting and they were like showing that they are uh, in opposition and so on and using this. And finally, after 89, they could use their position just to have uh, like to, because the, the government was, the new government was supposed to have a deal with a church, which is like crazy, mm -hmm. but they had to like have a deal. And they they had a deal which which is uh, until now it works like this that what they decided back then. So for example, this abortion law is from that time. And historically, the, there was the mentioning of eighty nine. Mm -hmm. um, was there any kind of opposition towards this um, reactionary movement inside of the government? And um, were there any well? let's say, strong women movements during the 90s and 2000s. I mean, it was mentioned that the anarcho-feminist movement was quite strong. Um, apart from that, from the from more like a, let's say, a smaller subcultural circles, the the strength of the women inside of the politics, how did it develop in, in this period? I, I don't know if they will define themselves as feminist, but uh, there was strong movement of uh, of uh, of women uh, that time, and also as a part of uh, Solidarność, Solidarity. Uh, but also inside Solidarity, they were uh, removed. So, for example, there was a, there was an um, official part of Solidarity, which was the women. Like part of solidarity, the women I know, uh, the women board in solidarity, but it was uh, removed. Uh, removed, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and also uh, according uh, like in the times where this this abortion law was b being changed, there was really huge, massive women yeah, protest. Pro not not only not even protest because then. It wasn't uh, protest yet because there was this. It was the time when it was discussed, so they were discussing, and, mm -hmm. and so they didn't need to protest because they actually were uh, were acting just what to choose, and and yeah, and it was like it was really massive, massive, massive movement of women uh, who wanted to to, to choose uh, pro-abortion uh, law. I wouldn't say that anarcho-feminism movement was strong. I mean, there were some groups, but uh, it was, as you said, sub subcultural. And I, I don't know uh, much about anarcho-feminism that time. I know more about like beginning of 2000 because this is more of my time. <laughs>
And then the happiness happened to Poland, and Poland became part of the European Union, I've heard. <laughs> I mean, it's not really clear how it fits in, in the whole story. Um, but with with Poland becoming part of the, of the EU, um, did it actually affect somehow politics because i have a feeling that you know poland doesn't give a fuck about you hungary doesn't give a fuck about what those whatever one or fun uh, think about what is going on in the country so was there any kind of a positive negative development out of this step also in politics and actually did i mean i know personally okay i know that when <laughs> Poland went closer to the Europe, right? That there were less connections later on with the Eastern European countries, like with Russia, Belarus, Ukraine. Um, but did this European Union trick um, brought the other feminist movement closer to Poland? So it, did it become more internationalist back then in, I don't know when it was, 2000s or something? Uh, I would say that for feminist movement, uh, it was even... Uh, uh like worse, worse. than because we <laughs> stopped to getting we were we stopped getting money from abroad <laughs> it, is, it is true yeah you know the, the because there was uh like as i as i said uh this uh, feminist movement was more uh organized as a organization like institutions and organizations uh ngos uh, and less uh less on grassroots collectives and those organizations uh, were getting funds from funds from from uh european organizations uh so when we in poland became part of europe and we moved like some kilometers uh, <laughs> to the west. west to the west uh, and yeah so we stopped getting money from, <laughs> from west, western organizations <laughs> i would say also that maybe i but i don't remember how it was like 15 years ago when we were joining the yeah, european she's, she's 14 years old <laughs> she doesn't remember <laughs> and you have very bad jokes <laughs> and uh, uh, but like for example last years i remember that this argument that uh, on the right side is pretty much used that we are uh, here in Poland, we are so much influenced by influenced by all these gays from Europe. That uh, Poland is becoming also a gay country because of this, and uh, the the all the um, the family uh, is not important anymore, and so on. And they are like using this, uh, like a, it's like a huge backlash. I think. Yeah, hard times for Poland for sure. Um, um, being influenced by the the gay and feminist from West that are going to take over the churches and turn them into cinemas, most probably. Um, so we are going to make a pause and we are going to listen to one more song. I don't know what is coming up. Something? Social bomb. Social bomb, I think also from the fight. And then we are coming back.
Um, if you say there was already kind of a strong or a big kind of discussion and also opposing to, to change this um, abortion law, is there some, would you say there's a continu continuity to today's protest or is this now like new people who are kind of standing up or would you say there's like connections to older movements and now people are fighting together with ge several generations? Could you say it like that? No, it was totally a gap. So there were this, um, this, this massive protest, massive uh, Uh, there was this massive movement uh, in the beginning of 90s and then uh, there were uh, like a few times and there were some actions organized by women, uh, by women groups and organizations, uh, action like mainly, uh, mainly also about abortion. Uh, but there were only a few times and then after 2000 when there was a try to, it was called... Uh, 100 signatures letter uh, and it was a letter from Polish women to uh, European court I think uh, to, to, to change the law and it was uh, like it didn't change anything and then after that after 2000 like totally no no nothing was happening and even uh, women poly, even women politics in parties in leading parties they were not talking about uh, uh, abortion uh, and then uh, those protests few years ago it was like totally new thing after this long gap but how do you explain this gap where just where people just burned out after this long struggle for the abortion rights or was there like a political change or maybe also in international politics or how do you explain this gap in the 2000s? I would say that maybe the like, position of church was so strong that even uh, even parties, even parties in, in like parliament uh, didn't uh, want to They even didn't try to change anything because they thought it's no, there is no no chance of changing changing it. So even so-called leftist party like uh, SLD, uh, the part like yeah, the yeah, like the, the mainstream yeah, leftist, party. yeah, mainstream leftist party, which is which is actually not leftist because the politicians from there are also Christians. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, and they yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so even even those parties weren't uh, didn't like try to change the law, and uh, and I would say that mainly that maybe maybe women um, uh, were like more focused on acting than lobbying. So, like organizing, really organizing help for women, for example, uh, in 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 the field of uh, violence uh, against women, and like and so so it was the the biggest uh, the field of uh, like yes, yeah, so women were acting in practic practically than 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 politically, maybe. But yeah, also it was the the the, the thing of uh, being burned out. And maybe I don't know. We have uh, we are say uh, we we are saying in Poland that uh, when there is a shit, uh, if you touch it, it will start to smell. So it's mm -hmm. better not to touch it. And I have a feeling that in that this political way, political on this political level, it was like this that it's better not to touch this shit because maybe it mm -hmm. it could be changed to the worse side like they are trying to do it now so maybe better not to touch it but they like um, do other things <laughs> And we're back in the studio with Elephant in the Room on Color Radio. Today we talk about feminism in Poland. And we just 
yeah, heard a bit about the history starting from socialist times where there was this idea of this working class woman and um, also the right for abortion. And then like with the transition, the women's rights dropped and uh, abortion became forbidden and also a lot of struggle was institutionalized and um, yeah, the church was ga gaining more and more power. And in the second part of the interview, we would like to get a little bit more into the whole content of the feminist movement nowadays. So, you know, did these fears of the church that society is changing, like, is it happening? Are there, like, what are the, the queer and feminist debates right now going on? And um, what does feminist organizing in your city looks at the moment? Um, okay, so if uh, you are asking if it's changing, hmm. uh, I had this feeling that uh, uh, when they were trying to make this abortion law more strict and uh, the big black protest started, it was like big mobilization and it was... I had that feeling at that time that uh, something will change. <laughs> that the like uh, people who were not active so much were like shouting at the streets, and there were so so many people. But then, uh, then, then it appeared that uh, that we were fighting for just. Uh, mm, Uh, for uh, just uh, leaving the situation as it is, <laughs> just not making it worse. And we need like uh, thousands of people on the streets just to not to make make the situation worse. And uh, also uh, in this uh, like very broad movement of this black protest, there were really different point of views uh, on abortion and not everyone like really not everyone like uh was uh for the like the abortion to be legal they there were many people just uh, for the leaving the situation as it is now so it was also uh, somehow disappointing i think mm, i don't know uh, Yeah, so the, you were also uh, asking if this, if generally, if situation is uh, is changing, not uh, like um, not only in feminism movement, but also about, okay. as I remember, yeah, you were asking about, you know, LGBT uh, situation of people, people, LGBT people and queer uh, things. So I would say that from one side that yeah of course it is changing and but from one side uh, uh, I have such feeling that it started to change into uh, better uh, but then law and and justice uh, the governing party. yeah the governing party now started to to to, to govern uh, so there was a, a backlash and now it's getting worse I think For example, there were some, uh, there were years where it became normal that uh, there were organized uh, pride marches, pride demonstrations in, in different uh, cities of Poland, and it became really normal. And now, uh, last year, there were uh, like lots of attacks on those pride demonstrations in, in different cities. But the, the the new thing I would say it was that people started organizing this pride uh, prides uh, in small cities in really like shit falls, and like I was shocked. <laughs> and uh, they are organizing themselves there in their cities, and sometimes it's like more liberal people, but not always. There there are some more radical folks also. And what else I wanted to add about that, that I would say that the language is changing, I think, last years, uh, but we are working on it, I think, hard all the time, uh, because Polish language is like really patriarchal with the endings and 
we are missing some words and uh, it's like constant work on this how to make this language more feminist at one point but uh, on the other hand more like open more like uh, queer including people and so on <laughs> maybe you can ask some more <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks um like maybe we can go a little bit deeper into the feminist topics in the anarchist scene or leftist scene um because i think like here it also came up a lot through the whole topic of sexualized violence that it's also a huge problem inside the movement and there's a huge lack of tackling the issues and um yeah a lot of people just taking it for granted that the perpetrators just stay inside the movements whereas the um people who are um being abused just move away and we were wondering um if you are approaching this topic in your um yeah in your scene or your wider circles and um yeah if it's a topic at all right now for you um i would say that in general we have uh like ra ra lack of auto reflection inside uh, the movement uh, so there is this pressure to act 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 organize uh, protest actions and just you know focus on doing stuff not uh, about how we do it uh, and the only uh, people who are like who, who make some auto reflection if who are who are focused also on uh, how we should work and how we should act are of course feminists so we uh we are uh, like showing or discussing with other people also as you as you said about uh sexual violence <laughs> and um, but only in some like more progressive groups uh this topic is touched and for example if there are some some there, there, there were examples of, of uh, sexual violence last years in in some groups and i know in some during some gatherings or during concerts and uh, only in in more like progressive groups it was uh, somehow tackled mm -hmm. discussed and, and there was a they were trying to do something with the problem say that there is lack of such group uh, in Poland who all who, who, who could um, lead oh my god I, I, <laughs> I totally forgot how it is called in English so how do you call this process pro process of uh, of uh, accountability what, what, what? accountability yeah, account yeah 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 exactly so we we don't have such a group who who could to help groups in doing it and so um which topics are you like you personally are right now involved in what is important for you which discussions you are following yeah maybe you can say <laughs> <laughs> no you, you you say less so now you <laughs> well i'm hmm. uh like <laughs> It's a difficult question because, like the the situation now, like I mean, really now, like last month, uh, changed uh, kind of a lot, and I am personally uh, uh, I started to work on uh, in one project which is working on how to help um, how to um, develop uh, like uh, self help. Uh, also in the fin financial way for people um, and uh, we are focused on the groups which are uh, uh, like especially discriminated in uh, society because uh, when you are like um, mm, you are experiencing discrimination in different uh, levels in different uh, fields Then uh, in the time of this epidemic uh, and losing work and this financial crisis, you are getting like, uh, you, you are in a really fucked up uh, situation because you were already before, because it like it was not a normal, uh, normal, not, 
it wasn't normal before and uh, during this epidemic it's uh, it's even worse and we are like uh, organizing a fund for people who are uh, from from the like more discriminated groups and uh, yeah i was uh, um yeah, I think that the, the, this topic is uh, like uh, I don't know. I'm I'm really into this topic right now because it seems to me that uh, the the situation like like it's now is not for one or several months, but it's like the crisis that it's starting now, and it will it would be like this, and uh, we have to find a find uh, ways how to support each other in a like financial way but also in another ways and now during this epidemic we also see that the, this uh, this shitty uh, government is not like they are not even uh, funding enough the hospitals so like what are we talking about <laughs> like we have to really think of some basic stuff that we should organize ourselves <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. So if we are talking about uh, financial problems, so I, I'm totally uh, like mainly uh, active. In ac yeah, active in my private uh, financial problems because <laughs> I have uh, like yeah, I, I used to have a cooperative which we were making uh, in which we were making uh, uh, beer. Um, craft beer. Actually, it was sold also in Berlin for some short time, and uh, yeah, and we didn't succeed in Poland. And now we have uh, huge debts, right? Really huge debts. So I'm mainly dealing <laughs> with these debts, and rather I join actions organized by others than organize my actions. Uh, but uh, lately, like like it was two weeks ago we went mm. for this protest like yeah. we have um yeah, yeah so they were trying to change this abortion law like two Again. weeks ago it was the yeah. 15th of april yeah. Yeah. so this uh women's strike and people uh, mm -hmm. like uh, from this uh, movement uh, so to speak uh, they organized this funny protest like uh, protest in car protest on bikes protest in uh, queues in queues uh, or in, i don't know lines to the shop like waiting uh, in a line to the shop so we were standing in a line to the shop uh, next to the parliament <laughs> and uh, so we were like two meters one from each other so it was a really long line with banners and so on yeah because we have this this, this, this law now uh, according to the corona virus that we if we are in a line that everyone has to be uh, at least two meters to, to another person from, each other, yeah, from yeah. each other so we are standing one meter two meters to, to another person with banners and uh, yeah just waiting to to buy something <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was that was the aim. Yeah, we were buying. Yeah, we were buying. <laughs> I, I I really bought a juice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have my my uh, re re receipt. Yeah. <laughs> but also, of course, police uh, came. The, 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 like there was yeah. so there was a lot of police. <laughs> more, much crazy. More police than, 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 of yeah. Yeah, but and so they they so the police were working as uh, they normally do. So they uh, took our uh, names and uh, and so, so on from our IDs, and uh, like they they sent the these names to court, and they are starting cases against us probably. So we will like it will take. Uh, probably some long time and we will have some problems later <laughs> like normally they do it like this <laughs> so that's what you see the difference between the repressive poland and the free germany here you can stand like one meter and a half from each other in poland uh, it's two yeah, meters yeah. you see you see like that's that's the freedom <laughs> so you can get closer to your fellow human beings because um, we're more in the west <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Less religion, more um, yeah, yeah, horrible people. people. But I mean, it's so crazy that they are still passing these laws. No, I mean, why are they passing this law on the fifteenth of April if no one is able to protest against it? It's so unbelievable. 
well, fighting yeah. against the pandemic, you can also ban abortion. It makes total sense, no? Yeah, yeah. And They're did they... Uh, also, when because they uh, the government proposed like the um, the project of changing some laws, and um, there was an important part of some help for the entrepreneurs, uh, like to help the financial situation of people, and like this whole big economical project, you would say. But they were also in the same project; they were changing laws about police. So police are, is more powerful now. So they were like pushing all the these new laws mm. like all together, like this mm. using the situation of epidemic. And is this new regulation on abortion actually passed already, or it's still somewhere in the air? No, it's, not it's in. The, it's, it was freezed, I think. Yeah, mm. for the like some kind of commission should like so. Yeah, but it is in the air. I mean, it wasn't like totally. Uh, mm -hmm. No, so, but so, but they can like take it out of the mm -hmm. freezing uh, mm -hmm. when they yeah. want. Yeah, but actually, basically. actually, like uh, the this uh, big protest a few years ago, the black protest, uh, it happened because it was the first time when uh, they wanted the, this anti-choice movement. They wanted to. Um, uh, punish for, for making abortion because uh, and because actually every few, three, three years there is a try to uh, make this abortion law more strict but the only changes they wanted to, to make are uh, for example to don't like to stop um, like um, because now it is possible to make abortion in three phases when it is uh, when the fetus is damaged, uh, not safe for women health, and if it is a cause of rape. Yes. Uh, yeah, and uh, every few years they wanted to like uh, kick out one of those uh, those cases. Uh -huh. Yeah, and but. Uh, and, and yeah, if it was ago when there was this black protest, it was because it was the first time when they wanted to uh, punish women for making abortion. Because now uh, women are not punished; only people who are helping women are being punished. And uh, yeah, and and now, so actually, it is not so uh, not so um, strange and not so um, unusual that they also wanted to change abortion law because they really. Are doing are trying to do it every few three years. Mm. <laughs> so it's normal. That's a typical Poland situation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. It just <laughs> happened that, that abortion law. Yeah, it just happened. That well, I mean, it's really nice of them that they don't leave you to get bored for this forty-year-long struggle and every three years try something new. Uh, maybe otherwise, uh, yeah, it would get. Okay. And do you have some protests uh, in Germany now? We also the have during the uh, epidemic. Epidemic. Yeah, actually, yeah. there were. I think in general, most protest right now was on this whole refugee question in Greece, mm -hmm. and there were actually different forms of protest. And but in Dresden here, there was actually a solidarity um, action with the. Uh, Anti-abortion protest law protest in Poland. No, okay, very mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, um, I, the forum of this protest. Um, they wear with black umbrellas on some main square in the city. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah there were like smaller decentralized things going on, like. Yeah, for the situation in Greece, yeah. there was this one day where people went around the cities and put up banners and stayed at places. But yeah, it was all heavily repressed by the police. Okay. And there were also shopping shopping lines, really long shopping lines. And I think in Potsdam, it was really long. There were kind of 200 people in the shopping line. <laughs> yeah, so ours was smaller. Yeah, smaller. yeah, ours was also smaller here in Dresden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's hard to make people who are 
anti-consumerist to actually go and stand in the line to the show. <laughs> All these punk rockers um, and so on. Um, I actually have one more question for this the the hoi polloi people or whatever. Um, how can people actually support you or like, you know, develop their knowledge about what is going on in Poland? Is there are there any resources or there is like this awesome Twitter account which everybody reads in Poland or something like that that people can inform themselves, maybe come to Poland, not right now, but in a couple of months. And um yeah, like you know, fight back the, 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 the Pope and the crosses and shit like that. You can pray for us. <laughs> oh yeah, that's an awesome idea. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good that's a good thing. Yeah, I will pass it to my friends and friends of friends how we can support people in Poland just by praying. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, but what's the interest and I actually I don't know if there is a um you know, like news cent center in, in English. This is a problem, I think, in our movement, like this kind of leftist, feminist, anarchist movement that we don't have like English. <laughs> Also Polish, actually, we don't have Polish. Uh, like this like Polish, <laughs> also Polish platform where platform we don't communicate, actually. Yeah, we don't communicate. <laughs> you just pray for each other. <laughs> pray, pray, prayer is the network of Poland, right? <laughs> Connected by mind. Yeah. Oh, no, no, they are joking, but actually, like, this is not... Uh, Yeah, that's true. It is true that we and we like very often we talk about uh, like um, inventing such platform of communication, but uh, we still didn't. So if we don't have such thing in Polish, then uh, like there is lack of. Uh, we don't have also such thing in English, or maybe I just don't know it. I don't know. But um, how is it for debates? Are your feminist ideas and debates are? Uh, also influenced by other Eastern European countries. Like, for instance, we heard this interview with a woman from Bosnia the other day, and she said that they have, like, really strong connection to the feminist movement in Macedonia. Um, so what is your experience? Like, how are the neighboring countries or ideas influencing your perspectives? This yeah. is a very interesting <laughs> question. I mean, uh, that's the. I think the the mm. big problem is the language problem that with the neighboring countries, mm. like we don't have so good contacts. Mm. Like if I think about Germany, we have good contacts with Germany because there are many Polish people yeah. living there, mm. and uh, like this, I'm thinking about networks helping with abortion, for example. The, so there are these networks working in Germany, in mm -hmm. Czech Republic and so on, but there are many Polish people like in this, uh, working in this. Mm. And now like many people in, in Warsaw, for example, there are many people from Belarus living, so we have some connections with Belarus, but not, like, I wouldn't say it's strong. Yeah. Um, And I wouldn't say that the feminist movement in Belarus is something strong as well. <laughs> sure. Why not? Maybe you are thinking stereotypically. Mm. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah because for, for me, the important thing also in if we are talking about feminism is also that uh, um, like feminism is a movement itself, but it's also a perspective. Uh, so you can act in like different movements uh, emanci emancipation movements and which is not uh, like strongly and which is not defined as feminist and like people usually like will not say it is this is really the feminism but actually they are feminists if they are uh, acting if we are acting for equality and for and, and like supporting uh, um, I know minorities, then it is feminist perspective hmm. itself. Hmm. Yeah, like for instance, in Germany, there's always this huge um, debate going on in between the like older generation of feminists and younger generation about this whole queer 
feminist theory and it's actually something that like I have the impression that splits the movement more than yeah actually unites the movement and creates this um yeah positive line of struggle and I was wondering if the situation for you like if there's a similar dispute going on over the last 40 years or if it's um something which is quite special in Germany I think this is um, like there is this problem that um, let's say older feminists uh, are burnt out and they don't are, they, they are not active anymore uh, like on the really on the streets they for example write articles uh, or books and uh, sometimes uh, take part in discussions but really and, and also the, but they are not acting on the street and they are also liberal. So, uh, and among um, younger generation, there is this age thing, unfortunately. So among this, this younger feminists, uh, I would say that there is no, uh, like there is no problem with queer topic. And there is, I wouldn't say that there is this division between uh, feminists who are uh, like, um, taking queer topics inside and and those who are I know fighting only for feminists uh, and like women women stuff without this queer perspective. So you think the younger people are more like united? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so also. And mm. I I think um, I saw some people and I like. No, some people who are really young, like 18 years old, and it's like this queer people who are really like going for the protests and like going to block uh, to block the fascist demonstrating in Warsaw, for example, and already being repressed because of this. And they're really like really queer and LGBT and so on and very like using like another language maybe then us a bit it's interesting in fact and and it's really nice that also in last years i think there were really a lot of this fascist march marches mm -hmm. in warsaw like for different uh, occasions <laughs> like more than before before it was like once a year twice a year and now they are like using all like every historical uh event that they can use they are using for this fascist march and uh and there 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 are people like this queer young people uh blocking them trying to block them <laughs> so it's like this is nice thing and this liberal feminists um i mean you were mentioning them as a as a kind of a counterpart for um the the leftist and um anarchist some anarchist leftovers um what is the difference and um i mean what is the difference is not really the question the question is more what are the contradictions that are existing right now in poland um with the liberal um, feminist movement and um, if it's actually like the place where people are working together or it's already like we're done with them we don't do anything with them together because they're I don't know doing this and this and that I would say that um, different leftist group have different uh, strategies. strategies and like some for example in initiative of 8th of March in Wrocław we we like we're talking about it a lot and like our perspective was that we are first to, closer to other leftist groups than to feminist liberal groups so we wouldn't uh, cooperate with we will not we, we weren't cooperating with uh, with with those feminist liberal groups but uh, there are other like groups which uh, like have totally like opposite perspective that yeah we have uh, the same uh, goals so we can cooperate uh, like but yeah but but for example for me it's like that uh, even if you are talking about abortion then uh, for me 
the goal is to make abortion uh, available. available. Yeah, for women, not only like from legal point of view, but also economically. And uh, so actually, yeah, I will like for me, it is um, like more important uh, to cooperate, for example, in with a you know, worker movement or tenement movement and like people who are acting for better uh, economical conditions uh, and we have like more common fight than my fight than I would I, so I wouldn't uh, so strongly cooperate with liberal feminist uh, just to change the law or the, or, or like uh, defending status quo because this is as Kulka said it was very strongly uh, uh, mentioned during this this black protest just to defend status quo. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think there were some conflicts also because yeah. of this. Yeah, I'm not really into this, but mm -hmm. I heard some gossips. <laughs> yeah, there were conflicts. <laughs> Actually, I don't like I don't like to talk about conflicts uh, in uh, like. We, our movement is not so uh, strong, so yeah. maybe yeah. let's talk about uh, conflicts between uh, our movement and the right wing and so on, then about conflicts. Inside. Yes, yes, but I think it's important also to mm -hmm. remember that like when you see really huge black protest, mm -hmm. it doesn't really mean that there will mm -hmm. be revolution. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And of course, there is not one feminism, there are different feminisms. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> mm, I don't know, would you like to, to add something more? I mean, I, yeah, we don't have, I mean, we could have more question, but it's more like maybe you would like to mention something more we didn't ask yet. Yeah, talking about like, for example, repressions. It's a difficult thing because we don't have really so... Uh, um, like you cannot really see uh, uh, police beating up people for this protest, for example. Like I said, they have dif different strategies, uh, police here. So they are like, uh, they will give us fines, like probably very big ones. We will see. And, uh, and it will be after some time. So it's like, uh, it's... Uh, is their strategy to burn out people, I think, and uh, yeah, like destroying the movement, uh, making people tired of this shit, of uh, making people tired of having uh, several cases in court, like small ones, but anyway, you have to take care of them. I don't know, but I think now, like you said, that there was this solidarity thing happening, but I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are these Facebook groups which are like uh, posting a lot of stuff, but we didn't, I, I haven't seen anywhere there any solidarity from abroad, in fact. Mm 
yeah which is kind of nice to see yeah when uh when you are like fuck (laughs) like yes we're going to stay in this line and then we will get fines and uh, nothing changes (laughs) anyway we are fighting for status quo yeah (laughs) i'm not on on facebook last uh, now so i haven't opportunity to see uh yeah, but there was solidarity pictures because, of course, activism is done on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But people are using this Facebook to organize themselves, which is not so bad idea, yeah. I think. And uh, yeah, there were these groups organizing themselves. Yeah. So I yeah. So what the like as a to 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 uh, sum 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 up sum up. Yeah. <laughs> if you do some solidarity actions, then inform us about that. <laughs> <laughs> And we are almost at the end of our show and we have one more song which is about a minute and then we can say bye afterwards. Nie chcę mieć dzieci i nie będę miała. Antykoncepcja prawie w 100% działa. Dobrze jest móc rozważyć różne opcje, a jeśli coś nie wyjdzie, zrobię sobie aborcję. To moje prawo jest, to ja je wybieram. Patrzę o nie tutaj, patrzę o nie teraz. To twoje prawo jest, to ty je wybierasz. Patrz o nie tutaj, patrz o nie teraz. Okay, um, unfortunately, we just have 20 seconds. So thanks a lot, actually, for you being here. Um, Good luck with your struggle. Like four.